Here we are in a Legend Kickback 2019 caravan. It's a couple's van. Uh, so these guys came to us with the request of building them a more capable off-grid package than they already had. So these guys actually spend quite a bit of time traveling in their van, sometimes up to about two to three months at a time, and then also uh, spending a little bit of time here and there, weekends, weeks, that sort of thing throughout the year. So they are another customer that were very happy with the van and were looking to do uh, more with what they already had. So keeping their van, you know, spending a little bit of money on making it more off-grid capable. So these guys actually had some modifications done by other installers at previous times, which included a couple of 120 amp hour lithium batteries, which were mounted under the bed. They had an inner drive 60 amp AC charger mounted in the, in the tunnel boot, front tunnel boot. They had a Red Arc BCDC 50 mounted next to the batteries under the bed. And they also had uh, a Victron smart solar 100 slash 50 in the overhead cupboard so kind of spread out all over the place and then on top of that they progressively had had solar panels upgraded on their roof but they had one of the one original panel and then another one upgraded so i think those were like 100 and let's just say 180 to 170 watts and then they had a 250 mounted on the left hand side of the van all going through with the same regulator. So there's huge amounts of inefficiencies in all of that. Um, the BCDC didn't have any solar input wired out to an Anderson plug, so that was purely being used for vehicle charging. Again, not ideal from the perspective of utilizing the equipment that you've got. So with this van, what we've actually gone ahead and done is used the parts of the system that were good quality and could be repurposed. So we've repurposed the Victron equipment, the Red Arc equipment, and the Enerdrive equipment into our system. So what we've ended up doing is consolidating everything under the seats, which is part of what we do, we talk about it all the time in, in regards to why we do that. Getting everything mounted in underneath the seats gives us a really good opportunity for space that's not ideally usable and also weight distribution over the axles. So it gives us good uh, weight distribution there. Had to do a little bit of modification with the water pumps to be able to move those to an area where they are out of the way of the system. So what we've ended up doing is a 410 amp hour LifeTech battery, which is, as we always talk about, fully compliant to the standards mounted here underneath the seat. We have ended up with 1100 watts of solar distributed through two separate solar regulators, 800 watts through one, 300 through another, all high voltage solar panels. We've ended up repurposing their DC-DC charger, so the Red Arc BC-DC, 50 underneath the seat here, which we've also wired the solar input out to an Anderson plug on the side of the van so they can now plug portables in and utilize that as a separate solar regulator as well. On top of that, we've also ended up with a 2600 watt inverter, which is a pass through inverter, and then repurposed the 60 amp AC charger. And then on top of that, we've incorporated a Cymarine battery management system, which gives us the ability to monitor our battery, gives us the ability to monitor some solar inputs and some DC-DC inputs and also some load usage. So a really nice system, which is consolidated, as I say, some of the equipment that they already owned, as well as upgrading to give them a fully off-grid package, which they can now turn their inverter on distributed throughout the van. We're actually running the air conditioner at the moment. It's actually been running 
uh, for a week in the middle of winter, so it's spring, uh, at 18 degrees. So it's working really hard. Uh, and what's happening with the system at the moment, it's 9.30 in the morning, we're sitting at 68 battery, 68% in the battery. So that's been, that's been utilized over the last week. As I say, I've been running it 24 seven. The battery gets back up to full and then discharges overnight. We've also got the fridge running, which is a compressor fridge. So this system really does have the capacity to keep up with, you know, an air conditioner. moment it's saying at this rate we're going to take two hours and ten minutes to be full. Yeah. Um, the next one just directly underneath that to the left hand side is battery for all the